25 years ago, detective work was boot from the ground, knocking on doors, asking questions. And over the years, you can see how it's evolved to digital forensics. You have to change with the digital world, and there is no way to solve these cases without this technology today. My job as an investigator is to get as many facts as I can. And we're in a world now that a lot of facts lie on digital devices. So the more facts I can get off anything electronic, the better I am when I present my case to the prosecutor. Sometimes that is the piece of evidence that I can present to a defense attorney and they can turn around and sit down with their client and say, you know, they've got this piece of evidence and you're done. Insights and, and Cellbrite does a good job laying out that data in an easy to view manner. So if, if you're looking at messages, a lot of times it'll make it look like uh, phone messages so you can follow that. And it's something that not just the investigator and prosecutor can follow, but also a jury. There are new developments tonight in the case against an Arkansas man already convicted of raping more than 30 children. In the Barry Walker case, without the digital evidence, I think it would have been incredibly difficult to prove all of the allegations against all of the victims that we had. And so it was a very important, critical piece of evidence for us. Today, 58-year-old Barry Walker was convicted, this time in Clark County, on dozens of counts of raping a minor. This along with computer exploitation of a child and other charges. In the Barry Walker case, digital evidence was extremely vital. It was overwhelming initially because there were so many devices. I mean, Silbright was my go-to tool in that as far as trying to go through if anything contained CSAM or if it didn't. One hard drive was three terabytes and it was 100% capacity. I think that one hard drive contained 1.27 million images and videos of CSAM. And so that was really important because it corroborated statements from the defendant and the victims that could be seen and proven without any doubt whatsoever. It was like a piece of the puzzle, but it was a really important piece of the puzzle, like maybe that corner piece, the very first one that you put in so that everything else fits in the right spot. It was a mountain of evidence that he couldn't fight and couldn't dispute and pled guilty to 39 life sentences plus 1,710 years. It's the longest sentence in Arkansas's history. With today's technology and with what John was able to use, we were able to get a, a predator, a monster, off of the street using that technology. Thank goodness we had it, because if not, he, he's still victimizing this very day. There's not much about the Barry Walker case that makes someone feel good, but I do feel like we got a just sentence, and I know that he'll never get out, and I think the victims know that, and I think that's just, and hopefully makes them feel better. If they feel better because of that, and then we did our job.